<laughs> in the shop. Got Kyle assisting. Hello. We decided we'd take a look at this uh, this 84 long bed just for giggles. Um, it's been sitting in the shop for several weeks. I haven't really done anything to it. Got the GTO hood sitting in the back of it. Still got to work on the GTO. We're just monkeying with this for a few minutes just to try to see if it would start again. It ran when I bought it, but it didn't run very good. Um, I saw smoke coming from right in there. <laughs> and that is where the uh, starter resides. And then I saw duct tape on the... Uh, main lead and uh pulled that off and well that doesn't look too freaking good dude that checks that probably ought not ignore that one huh um so that's gonna have to be replaced looking at the uh the firing order was right um what i do with the distributor cap that's all right, on the ground behind you yeah. yeah the distributor cap it looks pretty good and then the contacts look it looked good, but the thing is, that center button for the coil, that's supposed to be on a spring, and it's not, it isn't moving, and it's kind of, if you look, at it's all carbonized and stuff right there, it doesn't look all that great, yeah, that's kind of bent too, yeah, um, you should look inside that now, that does not look clean at all. So that doesn't look all that, all that spiffy. Between the smoke and that, of course. The, look at that. Uh, it's pretty rough. You know, I mean, it is what it is. That's your ignition module and then your adv timing advance, your centrifugal timing advance, and a condenser in there. Yeah, it's not clean, but. I mean, it ran, so we know that stuff works, but it, yeah, it's got the electric choke holly on it, which is relatively new looking. There was another one in the back of the truck, so I told Kyle he could rebuild that one and put it on his truck with the intake we bought him. But it was a straight six, so if you look at it, you can see the engine's kind of crooked in there. It favors, the front of the motor favors the driver's side. It's not quite straight. So I'm thinking they screwed up when they put this in with the trans mount. Got, the, got it, uh, the trans mount. Tail shaft's not centered. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, transmission fluid looks great. Um, as a matter of fact, it's too full. It's too full. <laughs> uh, that's why it was puking all over the place. Um, but it will no, only it was only going in reverse when we bought it. Um, yeah. Let's see what's in here. <sighs> I bet you, I bet you, there's nothing in here. Uh, in Is there something in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an assist on that. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Should just pop off. And come, come back towards you. In theory. In theory. If it's suctioned down in there, dude, it's, sometimes the lid has like a bellows on it that yeah. sucks down in there when it gets low on fluid to keep air out of it. If I can muscle it off and break it. It's yeah, well, yeah, if I have to buy another one, I have to buy another one. Okay. And I would say it looks like those little things are extended out. They are. But there's fluid in it. And the brakes do work when you push them. So, yeah. Anyway, we're just looking at it. It would be nice just to get it running as it is for now, and then I could work on it on the weekends. There's not a straight body panel on this thing, so i got plenty of body work to do. And this thing here, oil cans, when you... The whole thing moves. <laughs> Might have to replace this door. <laughs> I don't know. What can you expect for? It, it needs a little adjustment, I think. Just a, a little adjustment, maybe. Oh. I mean, because it closes so so well. Yeah, professionally installed mirrors too. 
These mirrors are top notch, man. These are the Dentine. best mirrors you could buy. It was almost like there was a mirror here before. It might have been a mirror right there. I don't know. I think the factory put them there. I think whoever whoever did this was just keeping it running. Yep. And using it, until and they it used it till it puked. Anymore. So, yeah. I got so much stuff to do. It's got a brand new so gas tank. Time. So. It does look like a brand new gas tank in there. I see, see how shiny that is? The one thing that bothers me is the uneven gap here on the bed. <laughs> I think it's been taken off at one point. I think they took the bed off to put the tank on and didn't put it back on right. That's what I think. That's what I think happened. So, I mean, yeah, this thing's got an abundance of little issues, but... In the end, it's fairly solid, so the cab is not rotted all over the place. The rockers are rusted a little bit, but, yeah, it has potential. it would be a good farm truck. Like I said, fix it up, get it running, make, make all the lights, make the brakes work, make the cooling work, and maybe get the air conditioning working, and, uh, and we could... Uh, get other vehicles in here. Yeah, well, if we get this one going, then the ADC-10 can come in here, and we can tear it down like you wanted to. Rebuild that motor. We'll, we'll do uh we do need to get this running, so I have a, I have a pickup truck. Cool beans. Get the wiring straightened out. Yeah, I'm going to have to crawl up in here and drop the starter. Maybe uh, some videos to come on this thing. Well, Kyle has got the... Uh, Positive battery. Positive battery. The fruits of his labor. He just yeah. pulled that off the starter. This had duct tape around uh, it. I saw a little <laughs> smoke the other day. I don't know why it was smoking. I really don't have much of a clue. There's just really no sign of what could have caused it. Um, or, you know, I don't know. Just the rest of it looks okay, I guess. It's just greasy. But, uh, yeah, that was the top side of the frame. And, uh, That was, uh, where is that at? Going to the right starter. at the starter. It's smoking yeah. at the starter. Yep, because this was hitting the frame. Because the frame was touching it right yeah. there. Uh, okay. So we had several. That was covered with duct tape. So it yeah. wasn't really contacting anything. But the duct tape was a mystery we had to unravel because <laughs> we figured we were going to find this. And I've, I found it once. I figured I'd find it again because this was poorly routed. Oh, yeah. But... For the rest of the truck now, I went up underneath it with Kyle a while ago, and honestly, looks pretty freaking good. Let's see here. There you go. So, frame looks good. Underside of the bed looks good. Exhaust looks good. Uh, I mean, the exhaust is it's actually pretty thick metal, and it's not huge, but it's duals. And it's a, and it's just four barrel. So I was telling Kyle a while ago, we get this thing running. It should run pretty good, and the underside makes up for the the top side of it. It's pretty clean all the way up to the front. Transmission's beat up. this first chance to get up under this thing and we get a look at it so it's nice to have it up on the stands but i mean exhaust is solid dry shaft looks good cross member looks good i mean it looks all factory pretty much uh transmission's leaking up front there's no dust cover on it uh, but I mean all in all the frame is yeah the frame is pretty much straight on this and unrusted that's bent the trans pan's got a bend in it over there where the exhaust comes down behind it there it's bent up in that area where it's dark it's bent but man, the rest of this thing 
Looks good underneath it. Not a whole lot wrong. So, once the brakes are good, and I know they work, and they may need to be redone, but because Kyle said there's not much over here. This is the what? I hope for the other side. Right. So the brakes are getting done. Uh, yeah, we got parts for this. We're going to see if we can get it running one thing at a time. So need to get the, the uh, main terminal or main wire on there. Get that main uh, battery cable for the positive put on there. And then we can uh, see if it'll run. So that will be interesting. It ran before. We'll be able to get up underneath it and see what's going on. Just you know, it's loud when we did it last time.